Okay, so I'm bringing you another strength-based flow today, which is going to be targeted on the legs. You're gonna hit it from all angles. Um, you will need a block, and if you have one, it doesn't have to look like this. Grab a resistance band as well. You can have the um, the kind of usual, usual physio band as well. We're just gonna tie it around our thighs. But if you don't have one, don't worry, this video can still work. You'll just do two sets with the block. If you don't have a block, you can grab a pillow or something like that. Okay, and when you're ready, you're gonna get started. So you can either have a little bit of a seated meditation, coming into any comfortable seat, bringing your eyes closed, reaching tall through the crown of the head, maybe bringing your palms so they're facing up and just start to connect to the breath. If you prefer to start on your back, please come into Shavasana or maybe recline Baddha And again, close your eyes and bring your focus onto the breath. So take a deep inhale through the nose, fill the belly, fill the heart space, and exhale, let go. Let's have a little mantra for this practice today. As you inhale, think let. As you exhale, think go. Let go of what no longer serves you, whether that is some tension that you're holding on to, whether it's something, a thought that you're holding on to in the mind, whether it's an emotion you just want to let go of. Simply breathe now, find that connection and let go. As you sit here and breathe and connect, I'm just gonna start this class with possibly one of my favorite quotes. It's from Gandhi and he says, strength does not come from winning. Our struggles develop our strengths. When we go through hardships and decide not to surrender, that is strength. And it's so true, and it's why I love yoga. The tools it gives us to help us find strength in times when we need it is where the magic happens. So as you lie here now, and you connect to the breath, and you let go, you might have done this with me before because I really love this exercise, but I want you to bring to mind something you are finding difficult at the moment, something big, something small. And when you brought it to mind, I want you to notice where you're feeling that in your body. Maybe you're actually feeling a physical sensation, a tightness in the chest maybe, a heaviness in the stomach. And we're gonna take three deep breaths together in and out through the nose. So as you inhale, fill the belly, fill the chest, breathe into that space where you're feeling it. And as you exhale, let it go. Inhale. Create space in the body. Exhale, release. Last time, biggest breath you've taken today, inhale. And exhale, let it go. Now check in, notice how you're feeling. And maybe those three deep breaths have helped the tiniest amount. But even if they have, even if it's a tiny amount, how huge is that? The power of the breath is huge. It's this tool that we have inbuilt in our body that we often take for granted. So I invite you for the rest of the week, for the weekend, when you are in a situation that is bringing something up emotionally, whether it's sadness, whether it's anger, breathe into it, take five deep breaths. And I'm not saying it's gonna be a magic pill cure, but it hopefully will bring some grounding, some clarity to the situation and help you out. So without further ado, we're gonna move. If you're in a seated position, slowly bring some movement into the body, wiggle the fingers. And if you're lying down, you can wiggle the toes as well. And then those who are seated, see if you can keep your eyes closed and you're gonna come down onto your back. And everyone's gonna come down in Shavasana or maybe with your knees bent. You're gonna bring your hands over your heart. You're gonna take a deep breath in. As you do, bring some Movement into the hands, rub the palms together and create some heat. Again, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring that heat over your heart. Right here and now, say to yourself, I am strong. You've got this. Blink the eyes open, maybe take a soft smile. And remember guys, that this is your practice, your body, you know your body best. Yoga should never be painful. Please modify how you need to modify. 
And we're going to start by grabbing our blocks and placing the block between the thighs. Bring your feet in a hand's distance from the body. Give your glutes a poke. They're about to get a little bit of a shock. Draw the front ribs in as you lift the body up into bridge pose. Now, don't bring this into a back bend. Draw the ribs in so you're collecting the core. Think about your core like a web. Draw the hip bones energetically towards each other. Lift the pelvic floor, hug the navel in. Ground down through the feet and kind of imagine you're drawing them back to, um, towards you. And notice how that fires up the hamstrings as well. And you can even poke your glutes to kind of remind them because the glutes inherently are lazy and they like to switch off. So you can keep checking in with them. Then I want you to reach your arms up. We'll just stretch the wrists. We're not going to be on our wrists much today, but we'll stretch them while we're down here. And as you stretch that right wrist, pulling back on the fingers, breathing into the wrist, into the forearm, you can start to pulse your hips. Keep connection to the core. Squeezing the block is going to help. It's going to help engage those adductor muscles, your inner thighs, which helps to engage the deep abdominals. And then keep your brain in your glutes to help them work that little bit more. So hopefully you're starting to feel it already now. I definitely am. <laughs> Keep squeezing the block. Breathing here. Three, two, one. Slowly take the left wrist and stop pulsing. Now you're going to pulse, but in a different way. You're going to squeeze into the block and then release. Squeeze in and release. So you're not dropping it but you're just getting those inner thigh muscles to work. And also you should notice the outer butt muscles, so your glute medius, your stabilizer, really important muscle in the body, that's gonna start to say hello now. I can definitely feel it <laughs> on my whole back chain of the body. Okay, keep grounding down through the feet. Keep squeezing, releasing the block for five, four, three, two, one. Okay. You can either bring the, um, the arms um, straight ahead of you. I can't do that because so I've got plant pots. So I'm going to bring them down by my side. But if you reach them ahead of you and bring them onto the floor, it just creates a little bit more space through the side body. Lengthen through the tailbone so you're not tucking, but you're keeping that nice neutral um, spine. Okay. Here, push into the big toe mounds and lift the heels. Exhale, lower. So keep moving as you breathe. And just be really intentional with your movements. Can you make the movement last as long as your breath? Can you avoid flinging yourself from posture to posture? Use your strength to help you keep squeezing that block. So this is bringing the ankles, bringing the calves into it now. I'm really getting a full leg <laughs> workout here just with this little sequence. So let's do three more now. Three. Two, last one. Okay, slowly, mindfully release all the way down onto your back. Grab the block and place it on your chest and you're gonna squeeze the block with your left leg. So what this is doing is it's getting your hip flexor here to work. Um, again, this is gonna work with a pillow as well if you want to. So let's do this first set with our head on the ground. So you're going to bring this right leg up, and as you exhale, you're going to drop it down. So if you want a modification here, you can have the knee bent, either dipping the toe down or dipping the heel down, or you can have that leg straight. So this side, we're working the hip flexor, but in a stable fashion, so we're working it isometrically, whereas this side, we are moving it <laughs> up and down. So after a few, you're going to feel it in the hip flexor, you're going to feel it in the core, so keep hugging your navel to spine, making sure you can control the core. Maybe have a little peep, check your abdominals aren't doming. If they are, you can just tone it down, tone down the intensity. Keep thinking about your core like a web, drawing everything into center. So it's like integrating together. Everything's working together. Three more. Two more. Last one. And now we go to the other side, grab the block, place it in between your chest and your right thigh, squeeze it in with the block. Maybe notice, does this side feel a little different? Is this side not quite as strong or is it stronger? Or maybe it's exactly the same, that's cool too. Take a big breath in, as you exhale, start to move the leg. Exhaling down, inhaling up. So check in with the lower back. So make sure as you move that the lower back doesn't over arch, because that usually means that the core is turning off and your pelvis is not staying stable. 
So keep breathing as you move. Let's do five more. Four more. Three. You've got this. Two. And one. Amazing. So two options now, guys. You can do the same thing as what we did before with the block, or we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to bring the band in. So this brings that glute medius I was talking about earlier, this brings it into effect even more because we're stabilizing. So whether it's a resistance band or a strap like this, I'll put a link <laughs> in, my, in the caption for this band because everyone always asks me. I just got it from Amazon though if you look for bands. Okay, so draw the ribs in, lengthen through the tailbone, push down through the feet as you lift up into your bridge. So the first one we did with the little pulses, your hands can be by your sides, you can be, they can be over your head. So you really want your brain and your glute. It's called brain mapping and it helps our muscles work even more. Okay, ground down through the feet. Push down through the big toe mounds. Keep checking in with the ribs, seeing if they're turning off. Don't bring this into a back bend. Keep that spine nice and neutral. And if you've got a band like me, you'll notice that this outer butt muscle is working as well because it's helping to stabilize because our knees just want to come in. So it's helped keeping them parallel. Okay, pulsing here. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Stop the pulsing up and down and now you bring the knees into it. In and out. And now you've got added resistance if you've got the band and you'll notice them fire even quicker. We've already done this already, so they're like, hello. But now they're really like, hi, I can feel you. Push down through the feet, draw the ribs in. Pulsing here for 10, 9. Stay with your breath. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we're not doing the calf races this time. You're going to lower down piece by piece. You're going to take the block off or you're going to take the band off. Place it by the side. Come back up into a bridge. Lift up. Then brain in your bum and especially in the side muscles are going to help stabilize. You can bring your hands onto your hip bones to check if your pelvis is dropping. Ground down through your right foot. Lift your left leg. So you can either just lift the knee or you can straighten that leg up. Core is on. Take a breath here. Then as you exhale, the foot steps down. Inhale, lift it up. This time, exhale. You're going to step it down. You're going to come on the heel and you're going to walk that foot slightly forward. Inhale, lift it up. Hold it here for a moment. Keep length through the tailbone. Exhale, come down onto your heel. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, lower down. Walk a little bit more forward. Notice how your hamstrings are alight. Exhale, left foot comes down. Inhale, right leg lifts. So you're kind of slightly walking forward each time. Really push down through the heel. Exhale, take it down. Keep the pelvis nice and stable. Keep the spine neutral. Exhale, bring it down. Let's do a few more. You can feel this. I can definitely feel this. Exhale, drop the foot down. Lift it up. Exhale, drop it down. Come all the way down onto your back. Let's just bring our feet mat distance apart. Take the knees to the left. Bring the gaze to the right. Squeeze that right glute and breathe into the front of the right hip. Inhale brings you through center. And exhale, takes you to the other side. Left glute on, breathe into that front left hip. Okay, inhale, come up. We're, ch we're changing it up, but we're still working those hip flexors. So this time you're going to come up onto your forearms. So actually there are different options because this is really tough on the core. If you see when you're doing this, your tummy doming or you just can't control your core, you can come onto your back and do these little toe dips. So either with the, the feet up in the air or you can bring your feet down on the floor and do them one at a time. So that's always an option, guys. Check in with your body. 
Another option, bring your hands down, coming onto your forearms. So your fingers actually can even kind of clasp around your ribs and kind of help push in towards each other. Check all those muscles are working together. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to lift through the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together, keep that lifting feeling, and then you're going to start lifting and lowering the legs, breathing as you do so, keeping the core nice and strong. Okay, <laughs> I can't talk during this, guys, so we're going to do it. Five. Four. You've got this. Three, two, and one. Wow. Okay. Come all the way up. Roll over the knees and come up into a downward facing dog. Stretch it out. Pedal the feet. Swing the hips. Take a moment to find the pose. Remember, bend your knees as much as you need to. Spread your fingers. Ground into the hands. Dial those hands out. And try not to collapse in the shoulders. You want a kind of lifting sensation. Draw your front ribs into the back body. Lift the sit bones high. Nice neutral spine. Shine the backs of the thighs towards the back of the room. Heels are drawing down. But again, don't worry if they don't touch the floor. It doesn't matter. It's all about sensation. It's not about what it looks like. Okay. So as you inhale, lift your heels. As you exhale, lower them towards the mat. Again, they don't need to touch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Two more times. Make this movement intentional. Don't start shoving them up, shoving them down. Really feel the movement. Bring your left foot into center. Lift your right leg high to the sky and do exactly the same again. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Keep moving and breathing, feel the strength in your calf, really control this movement for three, keep drawing those front ribs into the back body, two and one, exhale, step your right foot to the front of the mat, come down onto your left knee, inhale, reach your arms high, now stack knee, hip, shoulder, this is not what I want right now. I really want everything stacked. And you're going to reach up through the side waist, squeezing that left glute and opening through the hip flexor, just giving it a little bit of a stretch after <laughs> waking it up so bluntly at the start. One more breath here. Right hand comes onto hip. Take the left hand over to the side, breathing into the hip flexor still and breathing length through the left side body. Reach through the fingers. Create that space. Inhale, brings you up, bring your hands to your heart for this and lift up into high lunge, but with a bent knee. As you exhale, tap the knee down. So you're going to do these little lifts and lowers. Keep finding space through the crown of the head, a little tap down, but it's like your knee is kind of kissing the mat. You're not flopping <laughs> down and then lifting up. Let's do three more, two more. One more, bring your hands onto your thighs. Shift the weight forward and lift up into warrior three. You can have a little bend in this right leg, ground down through the foot and slightly dial that foot out, really feel stable, get those um, side glutes firing. Push your hands into your thigh, feel it a bit like a buttress. Bend the leg so it's about 90 degrees. Again, brain and left glute as you start to pulse. We've woken this glute up. What I want you to be wary of in this posture is your foot is going to want to go away and your hamstring is going to want to take over. So try and keep that bend about 90 degrees and really make sure your glute is firing. The core is nice and strong as well, helping keeping that pelvis stable. Three more, two more, last one. Stretch the leg out, take the toes down. Your left hand comes by your right foot. Your right fingers reach high. Come into a twist, squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. Dial the left hand out. You slightly lean back into that shoulder blade, opening the heart. As you exhale, your hand comes down. Step back, plank. Again, brain in your glutes. And remember, you can have your knees down for this, absolutely. You're going to lift your leg and lower. So it's only your legs that are moving and you're moving them 
from your glutes. So you've, you've really woken them up now. So hopefully you'll understand what it means when you're moving them from your glutes. Okay, one more. Both sides. Then lower down either in one piece or bringing the knees down, lowering all the way. Shoulders, hips stay lifted onto the mat. Basket your hands and bring your head onto them. Bend that left leg because that's the one we're on. Push your hip bones into the mat as again you bring your brain into that glute and you pulse. Or 10. Think of that 90 degree angle. I can feel my foot <laughs> trying to go away. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Guys, from here, we're going to go into wild thing. So you're going to bring your hands underneath your shoulders. You're going to come over onto this left, yes, left foot. And then you're going to lift up. You can either lift up onto your knee and take a kneeling wild thing, or you can lift up onto the edge of that right foot. Squeeze the glutes. Breathe into the hips. Breathe the chest forward. Oh, and then exhale. Come round, and let's get back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg high to the sky. Exhale, step it forward. Open it out. Goddess pose. Okay, sit down into your goddess. Bring your fingers to your ears. Make sure these knees aren't going in. Bring them out. I'm just taking my microphone. I'm really worried that my microphone's going to run out. Hopefully, you can still hear me. Okay, so you're going to inhale. Exhale. Bring your right elbow towards your right knee. So move with your breath. Your lower body isn't moving. You should feel it in your obliques. This is very much a core and leg class. Oh, I think every class I do could be labelled core. Oh, it's so vital in the way we move. Okay. Two more on both sides. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Last time. And... Inhale back. You're going to turn to the front of your mat. You're going to bring your hands down, but you're going to bring them to the inside of that right foot. Come down onto the back knee. Inhale. Squeeze the glute. Breathe the chest forward. A kind of cat, cow, and lizard pose. Exhale. Round the back. Push the floor away. One more time, just like that. Inhale. Breathe the chest forward. Exhale. Round through the back. Push. Now come down onto your forearms. Or maybe stay on your hands, sorry. Or maybe come onto blocks. It's completely up to you where you are in this pose. Maybe you tuck your toes, lift the knee. Check in. What do you need right now? What feels good for you? And then close your eyes and come back to the breath and notice if you've, if you've lost it, if you've lost that connection. Can you come back to it now? Can you deepen your breath? Can you slow the heart rate? Last breath here. And then you're going to slowly, mindfully come back onto the hands if you're not there already and step back, downward facing dog. So the other side, guys, inhale, lift the left leg high to the sky. And then you're going to start to lift and lower on that right heel. And notice, are you opening through the hip? Can you close the hips off? And focus on making the movement as slow, as strong and controlled as you can. Draw the ribs in three more times. Three two and one next exhale step your left foot forward come down onto your right knee and lift up into this 90 90 low lunge squeeze the right glute lift through the side body your shoulder blades are lifting high when we have our arms up we lift the shoulder blades if you hear anyone say Relax the shoulders down. Don't do that because our shoulders don't like doing that. That's not what they're meant to do. They're meant to lift when we lift our arms. So lengthen through the tailbone. Pull that left foot towards you. You pull your right knee towards you. As you exhale, bring your left hand onto your side waist and take a little side bend over towards the left hand side. Breathe into the side body. Breathe into the hip flexor. Squeeze that right glute. Inhale, brings you through center. Bring your hands to your heart. Tuck the back toes. Lift up into this bent leg. High lunge. Exhale, tap and lift. Move and breathe. Keep 
the pelvis nice and neutral. Keep lifting through the crown of the head. Your glutes are working. Your legs are feeling it. Let's do three more. Two more. Last one. Hands onto your thighs as you shift the weight forward coming into this warrior. Three. Whoop, I've lost my balance. Remember, you can have a little bend in this left leg. You definitely want to bend in the right leg. Bring it about 90 degrees and start to pulse. Brain in the glute, core nice and fired. Make sure it's your glute that's moving you. It's not your pelvis that's tipping. Pulsing here for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring the toes back. Bring your right hand down to the floor. Yes, reach the left fingers up. Hug the inner thighs in towards each other and breathe. Lean back into that right shoulder blade. Feel really strong and stable there. Then as you exhale, your left hand comes down and you step back into plank pose. Remember, you can drop the knees. If you need to, that's fine. <laughs> Always ask your body, what do I need now? And it might be different from day to day. So here, keeping the neck nice and long, start to march the feet. This pose always surprises me, or this little sequence always surprises me. It's always harder than I think it's going to be. Really set your shoulder blades on your back, slightly dialing out the hands, getting those rotator cuffs firing, making sure the shoulders are really stable. Last time, both sides. Then lower down, either in one piece, or bring the knees down. Basket your head on your hands, and bend that right knee. Push the sit bones into the floor, hug in the spine, brain in that right glute as you pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roll over, right foot touches the ground. Remember, you can lift onto the left knee or you can lift all the way up into full wild thing. Squeeze the glutes. Breathe the hips up, <sighs> holding here for three, two, one. Exhale, come all the way back round, plank pose, and send the hips high to the sky. So you guys are going to lift your left leg high to the sky. I'm going to use my right leg again, and we're all going to come up into goddess pose, just so I'm facing you. So, last little dynamic hit, guys. Sit down into your goddess. Bring your fingers to your ears, just like we did before. Take a breath in. Then as you exhale, your left leg is going to rise, and you're going to tap it with your right elbow. Make the movement as cold as controlled as you can. The key is in the core. Breathe in. Exhale. Tap. Ooh. <laughs> Breathe and move. How much can you control the movement? Don't let the knees... Claps in, keep the chest nice and lifted, navel to spine, moving side to side. Two more times in a moment on both sides. Okay, and then last one. Yes, okay. Slowly turn to the front, frame, frame your left foot, bring your left hand inside, come onto that back knee. Bring the hands down, inhale, breathe the chest open, exhale, round through the back, push the ground away. One more time, inhale, lift open, exhale, round through the back. Then again, coming into the lizard of your choice. A trick that I like to use is whether your hands or your forearms on the floor, if you push them down and then kind of pull them back and really feel a nice lengthening through the spine and opening in the hips. And another little trick I like is just have a little sway from side to side and move, move in my lizard. Whatever you're doing, find that pause button and then really focus on the breath. All right, slowly, mindfully, let's all meet on our hands. And then you're actually going to step your right foot forward to the front of the mat and come to sit all the way down. Bring the soles of the feet together, Padakonasana. Reach through the crown of the head. Inhale, exhale. Hinge from the hips, 
fold over and then let the spine round. Full permission to round down, bringing the head towards the feet. Release, breathing into those back ribs. Breathing into the inner thighs, releasing through the hips. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, brings you all the way up. My dog at the door really wants to come in. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to go all the way down now onto our back. You're going to roll down piece by piece until finally you come all the way in. Let's give the knees a big, big squeeze. Okay, guys, we've got Bernie now in. He was desperate to come in. He's got a bit of a cone head at the moment because... He had an eye operation, but he's all good. Okay, so you're gonna bring your feet mat distance apart. Take your knees over to the left. Bring your gaze over to the right. Close your eyes and really absorb the practice. Slow and deepen. Come back to that little mantra at the beginning as you inhale, think let. As you exhale, think go. And it sounds so silly and so simple, but it really, really works. It's sometimes a really nice thing to do in the morning if you're feeling really anxious for some reason. It's just letting all the parts of your body go. So now inhale, bring the knees up to center. Exhale, take them to the other side. Your gaze can come to the left. Bring your focus to the breath, but try not to change it now. Simply be its witness. And notice how each breath looks different, how each breath feels different. Inhale, bring your knees back to center. One more squeeze in, inhale, exhale. Let's find our final pose, Shavasana. Bring the feet mat distance apart. <laughs> bring the feet mat distance apart. Let the hangs, hands hang heavy by your sides, fingers curling in naturally. Take a huge breath in and exhale, let it go. As you did in our twist, release all control on the breath and simply be its witness. Stay here for as long as you have in Shavasana and keep that quote with you that I started the class. Strength does not come from winning. Our struggles develop our strengths. When we go through hardships and decide not to surrender, that is strength.